What is going on guys, BCD here, back with another video for today. Um, basically what I wanted to go through is a follow up um, to the controversy around Xbox and the Halo Infinite Showcase and basically what uh, I believe Aaron Greenberg had to say in regards to um, the PC build and essentially everything that I was talking about last video. Why the Halo Infinite looked so last generation and how it how come it didn't succeed people's expectations um essentially is i guess it was older hardware uh it was well not hardware but software it was a previous build back when they were still trying to um create something for e3 this was a demo that was still in progress um it obviously it, it wasn't as something that they were showing as in they're showing week by week today. It was something that that was an older build. It was running on a PC because it had similar specs and because of the limitations of COVID. But I don't know if that excuses what what occurred. You know, um, it seems as if they weren't prepared and Halo Infinite still had a bad showing. If that was what you're going to show at E3, it still would have been bad. Um, I just don't see how they how they don't see that yet. I mean, honestly, I, anytime you work for a company, you're going to come out and you're going to try to defend what happened. And if it's this controversy surrounding it, you want to justify why it occurred. And I'm giving people grace. Um, I'm not the you know, it's not the court of opinion on who, what's right and wrong in a pandemic and what's going on now. This is not this is not normal time so I can't say that they had the opportunity to get something better completed all I can say is it wasn't it didn't meet expectations um, at the end of the day that's what matters if it is if it does or does not meet expectations in this instance it did not meet expectations but I'm not holding that against Halo I don't think any Halo fan is really going to hold that against Halo but the people that were supposed to use this as a as a gateway to jump into their systems they're going to definitely hold this against them uh, they're not going to let it go they're not going to be a, a someone that's for forgiving and want this to be a flourishing franchise for them they want it to fail because obviously people they thrive on uh, um, on negativity and um, bringing something down so this isn't the time to kind of try to justify the internet because the internet can never be justified um it's just at this point taking licking the wounds and then going back and creating something special for when it does come out um you they don't have you don't they don't have that ammunition um but really surrounding the whole halo infinite gameplay there's a lot of stuff that came out i mean digital foundry did a whole it was a really good um, actual informative video in regards to like why it looked so last gen it was a lot to do with lighting and the pop in he was talking about texturing and how how it's lit and they were actually using high res stuff but because of how the lighting was you know washing everything out making everything look flat it looked that way so if you guys really are interested in seeing something that regards to explanation on what occurred i think digital foundry did a better job than pretty much any any exec could do at the company even probably some of the, you know, the programmers and the the, the content create well not the content creators but the actual um, developers. So I think you should watch that. Um, it's it's uh, pretty informative. But surrounding the controversy, Halo Infinite did not meet the mark. Um, that's unfortunate, but that's the case. Um, in the future, hopefully they are they learn from like what it is that they need to show. I think. I, I can give my opinion on what I think could have been done better. I, I would rather see gameplay that showcased the next gen level of fidelity. Or say for instance, instead of them showcasing just, you know, regular gameplay for Halo and trying to get that feel back, how about when you're flying over and you're flying over, you know, locations and you can just instantly drop from the ship and go into battle? And you can explore the entire Halo. They like, could do a loop around the Halo in it. In no load times. They could have done anything else to kind of make that game showcase 
the power of the generation as well as the the SSD, the the low times. They could have showed something that kind of showcased that. I think they did some of that in the beginning when they pressed start and it went straight into the gameplay. But people probably were under the impression that that was just, you know, movie magic. They just probably didn't think it was real. So it's just in all in their interpretation and in the delivery. I think they have been fumbling delivery for the longest now. Um, but I still honestly that they have the 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 best product per se, like the best value of a product. But they don't they don't know how to they don't know how to implement nor they know how to um, showcase it. Um, showing or at 120 frames per second doesn't really help. Um, it's just it's just certain things that have to be met. Um, and I give them grace because I thought of it from this point of view. We all have jobs. We all have, you know, criteria we have to meet. I'm happy that they don't force their developers to 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 change their vision in order to meet us to check off a box. Like to be able to graphically look better. They don't make them change their vision in order to develop and create something different, you know? So that's something that I thought I mean, maybe that is an upside for the developers, but at the end of the day, what we expected from you, it did not happen. Um, and if and because that did not happen, I, it's no reason to try to make excuses at this point. Is try to make a better product. It's 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 to prove people wrong, worthy of that price point. Just like I said before, PlayStation gives their customers at that special feeling that they're getting something unique and exclusive. When is when is Xbox going to showcase that? Um, and that's probably the like I said, the biggest hurdle that they're going to have to get through for this. But overall, um, I mean, I'm still I'm still interested in Halo. I'm still interested in what they have done with it, with the open world game. I think that's something unique. I think that's something that's going to um, actually push it in a different way. I just I just don't I just really hope that it's interesting. I don't see what they can do on Halo that would make it interesting being that it's mostly militia there um like to to drive a story to humanize uh master chief i don't know what that is as if it's if it's just one character that's that's going to be a problem but we'll see and again if you like this content don't forget to like and subscribe down below and i will talk to you guys in the next news update whatever i want to call it next peace